Hey, uh, Adrian from the Exekit dev team, and I wanted to show you guys a bit of a hack that we came up with over the weekend. Uh, we're calling this reality projection, and the reason it's called that will become apparent in a second. But basically, this is a website that we're looking at. This is JavaScript code running with a WebXR API on the Magic Leap 1. And all of it is actually running on this device. There is absolutely no computer involved. And so you might think, okay, well, it's AR. This is how the Magic Leap is supposed to work, right? Uh, and by the way, I watermarked it there, .js, in case it wasn't obvious. Um, but yeah, so why is that interesting, that it's all running on this device? Well, you can see right here, I walked up to my monitor, my actual computer monitor, and I can see the same reality that I see from my headset. So how does that work? <laughs> the way that that works is that there's a web server running on this. And all I did was I went up to my computer, I opened up the website uh, or the web server that's being served from this uh, device, and I can connect to it and see the exact reality view that the Magic Leap 1 sees. And what we have here is basically the entire mesh of my apartment being projected through the network over a WebSocket, um, just basically taking the raw geometry buffers, blasting it over to my PC. And what that enables is it enables multiplayer. And it's multiplayer where you can basically go up to a screen, use keyboard and mouse controls, and draw in reality. So right here, I am gonna walk over to the place where I drew using my computer. And this is what I thought was gonna be a door turns out that I completely misjudged the projection matrix. And this kind of shows the difference between looking at things from a screen and looking at things in reality. I thought that that looked pretty okay, like a door. It turns out that it was just about this size. Uh, so that's why I go over to the monitor again over here and I try to redraw it also unsuccessfully. Um, but I thought that this was really cool. Like this kind of blew my mind the first time that I saw it and that it just ended up working. Uh, this took essentially, I think one, maybe a bit over one day to do. Uh, we did it completely over a weekend from scratch. And the way that this works is just like the geometry buffers from the meshing, from the Magic Leap 1 meshing are transmitted over the network over a web socket. That's the same thing that's happening for the painting that we're doing with our controllers and with the keyboard. Uh, the only thing required for doing that is essentially you get the points, uh, you get the difference between the points, and then you interpolate a geometry between the two. And this got a little bit inappropriate, so that's why we made the jump cut to the next section. And here I'm going to try to redraw the same tree that I tried to draw before, because it's the only thing that I know how to draw. I'm a coder, not an artist. But we also see here that I got interrupted. And the reason I got interrupted is because we have my friend Nick here um, joining me in my space. And the most interesting part of this is that Nick is not even in the same country as I am. He is on the opposite side of the continent. I am in Toronto and he is in LA. Which is why, <laughs> as you can see, what he's going to write down is that there was some lag. Especially on my uplink he wasn't able to see what I was uh, drawing and what I was moving around um, immediately. We just ran into a bit of a lag spike to get things started. But that's how these hacks tend to go. It actually cleared up very quickly though. And as you can see, uh, what we're gonna move into here is I will walk up to him and I will try to jail him <laughs> inside of a makeshift jail cell. I don't know why I was thinking that that would be a good idea, but it seemed like it would be. Uh, so as you can see, he is in the exact same space that I am, except what he is wearing is a Vive instead of a Magic Leap. Uh, but he can still see exactly the same things that I see. Uh, the way that he moves, though, is that he is using the regular teleport controls, where you point at a location on the ground and you will teleport there. But other than that, this mesh is 100% to scale and it allows people to walk into your reality uh, from a vibe. 
This could also work between uh, two magic leaps, for example. So I could share my room with another magic leap user and they could see my room. And we might even be able to merge rooms with some sort of portal in between the doors. Or we could have a huge party between some people with Vive, with some people in a Magic Leap, with some people in just a regular browser. And all this could of course be made persistent and you can add objects to it. And theoretically the number of players is infinite. It could be an MMO. Uh, the only reason that it wasn't and that the performance isn't that great right here is because one, we are on opposite sides of the continent and number two, you have to remember, everything is running off of this little thing. There is absolutely no other computer involved other than, of course, his Vive, uh, running his Vive. But he is directly connected to my Magic Leap. And um, the also other really interesting part of this, we've never tried this before, but I would love to, it's that we could totally take the Magic Leap out on the town, tether it to a phone, and then somebody could connect basically to my reality no matter where I am. And no matter where they are, they could be connected from their browser, they could even be connected from their phone, and they could see a view into wherever I am. I think that would just be absolutely amazing. Um, but yeah, there you go. This is Exokit. Um, I guess Adrian Power checkmark? <laughs> but Nick says no. Nick says that it's actually Nick Powered. But we'll see about that. I'm still trying to teach him how to code. But uh, if you guys are interested in what we're doing here, um, join the Discord and join, join us on Twitter, join the convos. And yeah, we'll have lots more to come. See you guys on the Metaverse.